How you doing guys? Daniel back again with another video for you. Today we're going to be playing through the scenario in issue one of Combat Patrol magazine and I've got a very good assistant uh, called Darcy who it's her first game of Warhammer. She's just out of frame over there, that's why I glanced over there, she poked her head around the corner. Um, but yeah, it's her very first game of Warhammer um, so it's going to be good to see how it is for, for a new person playing this game based on the magazines and, and the information you get in the magazines, how, how easy it is for them. We'll talk a little bit about that at the end as well. So we're gonna start the battle by moving our models into the middle of the battlefield. Where hey, beautiful. So to start off, the Tyranid's gonna attack first and he gets six attacks. So I'm gonna take six dice, which is handily, the number of dice you get in the mag. And then I'm gonna roll them and he's looking for a two or more for each attack to be successful. So he just misses with one attack, this single one, everything else is a two or more. And then he's gonna, so he's gonna wound on rolls of three or more. So there's one miss. Everything else is a wound. Got three fives and a three there. Um, and then the captain now needs to make his saving throws. He normally has an armor save of two, but as we're told in the magazine, the Tyranid's uh, talons are very sharp. So that reduces the armor save by one, making it an armor save of three or more. So Darcy, you'll have to roll a three or more to make the saves and ensure your captain isn't wounded. Oh, so three wounds go through there. Two, th three, three twos rolled. So it's bad news for the captain after that first round, but can he come back with enough attacks to make it not even a problem? So now the captain gets to make his attacks back. He needs a two or more to hit successfully and whoa. All hit. All hit, fantastic. So now he needs a four or more to wound because his Attack strength is the same as the Tyranny's toughness. Mm. Uh, so there's two there, three there that don't, four there that don't wound. So he only gets two wounds through. So he's not going to kill the Tyranny in this turn. The Tyranny needs to make a six up saving throw though to make sure he doesn't take any wounds. Makes one six, which is good. And he gets one wound against his name. And then the cycle continues. It's back to the Tyranny for his attack. <laughs> So he needs a two or more. The handy thing about these two characters are, is they both need a two or more to hit. So the first roll is always the same. One miss. The Tyranid needs a three or more to wound. So three wounds go through, meaning three saves of three or more from the captain will uh, be good. So one wound goes through there, he's down to two wounds remaining the captain. They both also have six wounds to start with. So that's another stat that's similar, which means you don't have to uh, worry too much about any confusion. So now the captain's gonna attack back. Oh yeah, there. So that's just that one that misses. And then he's gonna need four or more to wound. All but one wound. So that is four wounds. So six up saves required from the Tyranid as before. Two saves and two wounds go through. So we'll just plonk these two wound markers. He's got three wounds remaining now. These little uh, wound marker arrows kind of reminds me of the opening title sequence of Dad's Army. Some people are too young to remember that. Tyranid's attacking once again. This is the third round of the battle, I think. Needs twos to hit, so they all hit. Threes to wound. One, two, three failed wound rolls. So then it's, uh, yes. if he fails, if the captain here fails two of these rolls, which needs to be three or more, then he's dead, Tim. <laughs> he's dead. So six wounds on the table. Captain, ugh, slain. Unbelievable. Moving on to the next page of the battle, the battle ends for now. Congratulations, which champion managed to secure victory? Well, it was the Tyranids this time. The Winged Prime stands over the fallen Space Marine 
eyeing its enemy not with hunger but with cold calculation. The captain, gravely wounded, manages to struggle free and escape. He runs off into the distance like a coward. But the winged tyranny prime does not immediately give chase. The hive mind has learned much in this battle and to hunt this prey will allow it to gather more vital information on the space marines. Should I do it again? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I right, want to okay. beat you. Right, well, we'll, we'll set it up again. Uh, you can play through this battle as many times as you want to get yourself used to this aspect of the game, this okay. uh, melee round. So we'll leave the guys in the middle of the battlefield on this occasion, and then we'll see if uh, the Space Marine can get the victory uh, next time. So, to start with, I'll tell you what we'll do as well. We'll start with the Space Marine Captain. Um, fighting first because it seems a bit unfair for the Tyranid to go first every time. So if the Space Marine Captain wants to roll the wound attacks. And they're looking for twos to wound yeah, us before. Yeah. So just one fails and then four or more to wound. Sorry, first one was the attacks roll, this one's a wound roll of course. Um, so three wounds go through, six up to save, Ooh. two saves, not bad. Rolling quite well this Tyranid Prime. And then the Tyrannus is going to attack back. We're going to have twos to hit. One failed, two failed. So then it's four wound rolls we get to make. And we need three or more. Just one misses. And then it's saves from the captain of a three or more. Uh, that is a fail, but the other two go through. So that's another wound one, roll. One, one wound marker. Against the captain. Back to the captain's attacks. Uh, one, one failed. Five go through. Those two definitely fail. It's a four or more the captain needs. So these three go through. And we need six up save from the prime. Oh, unlucky from the prime there. So two go through. Down to three wounds remaining. Well, the Prime gets to attack back. Can they make these lethal attacks count? No. <laughs> so it's two or more, so four go through. And then the wound roll is a three or more. So four wounds. Uh, the Captain needs to make four saving throws. Three or more required on the dice because of that tough Terminator armor. Just one. One goes through, fantastic. So it's a pretty close fought battle this one, the two quite evenly matched characters. Whee. So six attacks again from the captain, two or more to hit. Oh, two misses. It's okay. It's okay. It is okay, and it's a four or more to wound. Ah. Just two wounds. Can we make two saving throws for the ting tinged prime? Tinged with the winged prime. <laughs> No, no saving throws there, so the Tyranid is down to its last wound. There we go, the Prime attacks back. Uh, we're looking for twos, aren't we? Yeah, so that's four attacks go through. This could take out your Captain just before he makes his probably final round of attacks. And um, we're looking for threes. Come on, four threes we need now. Nope. So, the captain will survive this, but how many wounds will he have remaining? Two saving throws, so he's down to half wounds, three wounds. Uh, but now, the Tyranid probably gets to finish, uh, the, sorry, Terminator probably gets to finish off the Tyranid. Uh, one, two misses, and we need fours to wound. Two, so if I make two sixes here, this could be dramatically. I'll, do, I'll roll them one at a time for dramatic effect because the first one's bound to be a six. It's a three, he's dead, <laughs> unlucky. So if the Tyranid had been defeated in this instance, the scenario would be as follows. Space Marine victory. With a brutal blow, the captain slices the winged Tyranid prime in two. He, he voxes his position to his troops, checks his ammo and prepares to fight. He has fought Tyrannus before and knows this victory is only temporary. The best he has fought is only an appendage of the hive mind. However, he is ready and will kill as many Tyranids as it takes to secure victory. So there we go. Uh, it's a nice, easy 
scenario for you, to, for you to get used to the melee stage of the of the game. We'll tip that to it over as well to show that victory on camera. Um, how did you feel about that? Did you think it was good? <clears throat> yeah, it was good. Um, did Easy. you feel? Did you feel like you could have? Um, you could have read the magazine and understood everything yourself, or do you think it's a, a little bit convoluted and confusing? Uh, never playing the game before, I think uh, it's a bit confusing. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it's, but having somebody there to explain it is very helpful. Yeah, yeah. There's like there's different levels of board games and stuff, um, and obviously this is a tabletop game, not quite a board game, so it's bound to have slightly more complex rules. Um, and I think having either someone online that you can refer to um, who's who's running through the same scenarios as you or having someone in person I think that can definitely help can't it? Thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you on the battlefield. Big Mac Daskal over and out. Whoa. <laughs>